Vehicle crime is a complex issue. Another auto theft ring busted in another police operation, this one dubbed Project Titanium, just the latest targeting the staggering surge of auto theft, most occurring in the greater Toronto area. What is alarming about this investigation is that the vehicle thefts were not simply carried out in the middle of the night on an unoccupied target vehicle. Many of the thefts involved violence. Last year in Toronto, 12,000 vehicles were stolen, one every 40 minutes. Last month in Peel region north of Toronto, an average of 18 cars a day were stolen. They are rarely recovered. And most of the arrests involve those stealing the cars, not those working behind the scenes. Organized crime are still profiting from this in a significant way. In Brampton, Ontario, where car theft is endemic, Mayor Patrick Brown is calling for a different approach. It's 100% solvable. In the U.S., they know how to chew gum and walk at the same time. Brown recently visited the port of Newark in New Jersey, where scanners are extensively used to see what is actually inside many of the containers leaving the country. It's almost like an x-ray machine where they measure density in a shipping container. And so if the shipping container is labeled as household goods, and clearly there's cars in there, that shipping container is going to be flagged. Brown says Canadian ports need more scanners, especially Montreal's. That's where a majority of stolen cars from Ontario and Quebec leave the country. Until we fix the structural problems in Canada that makes it so easy to export cars, um, it, it, they're not going to win this battle. The federal government recently committed millions to combating auto theft, including money for scanners. <laughs> an attempt to undermine the crime by making it harder to smuggle stolen cars and profit from them. Jamie Strachan, CBC News, Toronto.